organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. On this live edition of Daily Iwin TV, stress-free is the way to be. Learn how students are finding new ways to lower their stress level. And smoked out what some UI students are doing to get you to quit an unhealthy habit. And in sports, our film room analysts break down the evolution of Jake Rudock. That's all coming up next. This is Daily Iowan TV. I'm Tom Brokaw. For more than 100 years now, the University of Iowa community has been waking up to the Daily Iowa. Today, it's the largest newsroom in eastern Iowa. And now you can see the news every night on Daily Iowan TV and get it anytime worldwide at dailyiowan.com. The verdict is in. Brandon Brown has been found guilty. Good evening and welcome, everyone. I'm Jacob Esser. And I'm Rebecca Swibes. 28-year-old Brandon Brown was charged with first-degree murder Tuesday night. Brown shot and killed 30-year-old Danelle Lindsay on June 21, 2012, and he was apprehended two months later in Chicago. He was brought back to Johnson County, and the trial lasted a total of six days. Brown, who did, who did not testify, was led out of the courtroom after the verdict was read. His sentencing will be decided later on this week. Quitting smoking is a hard task to accomplish, especially in college. Our own Stefan Duran took a look at an event trying to make that task a little easier. According to the National Cancer Institute, cigarette smoking causes almost 450,000 deaths per year. To raise awareness and to help smokers quit on campus, the College of Health Education class held a Survival of the Fittest event to mark the annual Great American Smokeout. This event is not only helps inform students on the dangers of smoking, but also sheds light on the quitting services offered at the university's student health. We also wanted to promote those services to students and the Great American Smokeout's a good national day um, that it's good to do that so students know about those services available to them. Multiple activities such as smoke trivia and smokeopoly, a gift card drawing and gallons of hot chocolate allowed students to get more information about the dangers of smoking in a fun way. In addition to steering students away from smoking, the event also focused on the increase of smoking on campus. We basically did um, a lot of statistical data on campus and we um, noticed that there are a lot of students um, smoking here on campus around the smoke-free signs and there's a lack of knowledge of the policy on campus. With the various tips and information available, current student smokers are hopeful the smoke out will help this time around. I tried quitting before, um, but it's hard with the college lifestyle. Um, going out on the weekends and stuff, and craving it a little bit. Um, but I think I'm pretty confident that I can quit now. Although the rain kept the smoke out from being outdoors at College Green Park, group members were happy with the number of last minute turnouts. UI College of Law is creating a fast track program. The new program allows for students to complete their undergraduate and law degrees sooner. The major advantages are students will now be able to finish in six years rather than the usual seven and applying for the program will now begin at the close of students' junior years. This fast-track program, named 3 plus 3, is an effort to help students financially as well. The University of Iowa student leaders are helping other students advocate for a tuition freeze for the second year in a row. UISG held a training exercise last night to help students better understand how to effectively advocate to the state government. Members focused on how to convey their personal stories to push government officials to support a second tuition freeze. They also emphasize that students provide an insight into the university where no one else can provide. So just bringing a lot of students and knowing that they're comfortable uh, expressing themselves and telling why they came to the University of Iowa in the first place uh, is invaluable, I think. Students will display their advocacy at the Hawkeye Caucus Day on April 2nd. Completion dates for the demolition of the UI Art Building and Hanshin, uh, Hanshin Auditorium, Auditorium has been pushed back. The new finish date for both buildings is estimated to be in February 2014. The flood recovery costs have also increased by over $7 million. Regents will discuss a flood recovery update on their December 4th meeting. Stick around. Coming up later in the show, we take a look at what's been buzzing around Iowa City on our Wednesday segment of Hawkeye Buzz. 
And later in sports, we'll catch you up on what Tom Brands and the team had to say to the media. Now we'll hand it over to our own Tierra Simpson with your weather forecast. Tierra? Hey guys, tomorrow morning will be 41 degrees with a 40% chance of rain throughout the day. That temperature should rise in the afternoon to 45 degrees before taking a dip to 43 at night. Looking at the rest of the week, Friday will be 36 degrees with a 30% chance of snow. The temperatures will continue to drop this weekend. Saturday will be a high of 27 degrees and Sunday will be in the low 30s. Monday will bring cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 40s. Those clouds will continue into Tuesday when the temperature will be in the high 30s. Well, that's all I have for your weather. Back to you two at the desk. Thanks, Tierra. And with final exam week is right around the corner and this has students stressing. This year, the UI is holding a stress management workshop for students to help them prepare for the busy schedule ahead. They will learn different relaxation skills and self-care and effective studying habits. Many students develop unhealthy behavior during these stressful weeks. This can include lack of sleep, drinking alcohol, and even using drugs. When you talk about people going out and partying, people going out and um, I think what you're talking about is distracting themselves. You know, People have a tendency when they feel this stress, when they feel anxiety towards things in their life, to find some way to distract themselves. So to all you UI students out there, make sure you take your time and choose the best study techniques to help you succeed. And now it's time for our Wednesday segment, Hawkeye Buzz, with our own Alyssa Bergamini. Alyssa, what's buzzing? Hey guys, happy hump day and welcome back to your weekly edition of Hawkeye Buzz. It's the middle of the week and sometimes you just need a little pick-me-up. And boy, do I have a solution for you. Earlier today, I stopped by Eastern Iowa's newest business that will make your day that much sweeter. Molly's Cupcakes, move over, because there's a new cupcake in town. Located right outside of the Iowa River Landing, Scratch Cupcakery has been in business for only three short weeks. And already, the customers just can't get enough of this sweet temptation. With the 22 different flavors every day, it's no surprise that the business is already booming. And the Corova manager tells us about the magic behind this store. We just try and always make people happy with cupcakes and not just sell them. We try and be invested in other people's lives. So. Putting aside the smiles and the sprinkles, what's a cupcake shop without a cupcake war? Oh gosh, I don't know. We really try not to be competitive with other cupcake stores. Um, obviously it's out there, but um, we just try and sell our cupcakes and hope that it goes well for us. With four different Iowa locations, the expansion of the store is only growing and growing. So whether you're a chocolate or vanilla lover, Scratch is bound to have a treat just for you. Even though Wednesday is their busiest day of the week, the doors will be busting open this Saturday with those crazy Hawkeye fans who think that the only thing sweeter than an Iowa victory is a cupcake. We're going to be open earlier this Saturday for the Iowa football game. Um, different colors like black and gold, sprinkles and buttercream, things like that. With lots of love, laughter and these delicate desserts, it's safe to say that Scratch Cupcakery has won the cupcake battle. Thanks to Scratch Cupcakery for the insider scoop. And if you want to check out more about the store, visit www.scratchbakery.com. Everyone have a safe and happy Thanksgiving break and go Hawks. Rebecca Jacob, back to you too. Thanks, Alyssa. 22 different flavors. That's a lot to pick from. I like my options there. And I think that's great that they're opening up early for tailgaters. <laughs> me as well, me as well. And uh, speaking of tailgate, let's toss it over to Whitney Blakemore for a look at everything black and gold. Whitney? Hey guys, and welcome to this live edition of the Daily Iowan TV Sports Studio. We have action on the gridiron, hardwood, and mat for you, so let's get right to it. Tom Brands and his team met with the media yesterday ahead of hosting the Iowa City Duels on Friday. The Hawks swept the Luther Open, winning a championship in every weight class. The squad combined as a whole for 48 falls, which has the team looking for more pins this season. There's a competition going on in this room. Um, I've heard a little bit about it with Ramos and Evans and Telford and um, these guys are, they're, they're talking about pinning so that's good. And now let's keep doing it as the competition gets a little tougher and in the big duel, carry, have it carry over into the big duel meet. So those bonus points in that domination is big. It's still division two or three or whatever we're wrestling. Um, 
you know, mad experience, mad time. Um, getting out and be able to showcase your skills to the fans, being at home at Carver, you know, getting back in that atmosphere. Jordan Cabialis and Cody Goodwin are ready to bump me off set to break down film. But before that, let's talk about an impactful player on the defensive side of the ball. Taylor Axelson has more on a senior linebacker making waves on and off the field. James Morris, senior linebacker, has been named the first Hawkeye ever to be a semifinalist in the running for the Lot Impact Trophy. And Impact does not stand for his 374 career tackles. It is an acronym for Integrity, Maturity, Performance, Academics, Community, and Tenacity. For Morris, another could be added, Humble. It's a good feeling, but again, you know, it's not something I'm dwelling on. It's not something I'm advertising or, you know, mentioning to other people. I just, again, take it for what it is. It's a nice honor. Um, that's all it is right now. It can't help me Saturday. It can't help me today. So just really focused on the things I can control. While Morris focuses on the upcoming game against Michigan, the national voter panel will have to cut more players. Five finalists will be announced November 25th. And if Morris makes it to the Fantastic Five, he will be invited to attend the 10th Annual Trophy Banquet in Newport Beach, California on December 8th. This is Taylor Axelson, Daily Iowa TV. Thanks, Taylor. Impressive what James Morris has been able to do both on and off the field. Jordan Cabiellis alongside Cody Goodwin in this live edition of the Film Room. And Cody, two games left on the schedule for the Hawks, and we've seen a lot of improvement and growth out of sophomore quarterback Jake Rudock. You know, you know, Jordan, it seems like yesterday he just played his very first game, and now he just turned into a stud quarterback for the Iowa Hawkeye offense. But we're going to go ahead and look at this first play from the game two of the season against Missouri State. Rudock takes, it back, takes the snap back to pass. Seems to be a little quick and tentative there to tuck the ball and run it into the end zone. Ultimately was a touchdown for Iowa, but he seemed really quick to make that decision. You could tell he was still trying to learn how to play the game at the collegiate level. Had never taken a snap there before, but he seemed to adjust rather quickly. Absolutely. We're going to press forward here to the Ohio State game on October 19th, where Jake Rudock takes this shotgun pass. You can count him right there. Seven Buckeye defenders ready to collapse that pocket. But Kevante Martin Manley down there, circled. He's going to cut into the end zone, and Jake Rudock's going to have the patience to stay in that pocket in the midst of the blitz. Takes a hard hit, but delivers a beautiful floater to Kevante Martin Manley down there in the back of the end zone. Another touchdown for Iowa. And even in the most recent recent game against Purdue on November 9th, Rudock takes another shotgun pass where he's able to step back and you can see so much confidence on this throw. Look at the step he's able to make. Fires a rifle to the back of the end zone again to who else? His favorite target, Kevontae Martin Manley, just out of reach of a Purdue defender right there. And Kevontae Martin Manley, another touchdown for Iowa. So you can really see the improvement from Jake Rudock, especially in those three clips as the season has progressed in his decision making, his patience, and ultimately his confidence. Certainly seems to have a bright future. The Hawks will look to improve their bowl status in these last two weeks with Saturday's game against Michigan and Black Friday's trophy game in Lincoln against Nebraska. Whitney, back to you right after this. We're bigger, we're deeper, and we're more experienced than we've ever been. But here's White, that's the throw! Evans gets the step on the drive, score it, and a foul! Now he throws it down! with the play made to Aaron White! Thanks guys, and finally before we let you go, Bluter's Bunch hit the road for the first time tonight. The black and gold head to Boulder to face number 16 Colorado. Both teams are undefeated on the year. Iowa already has one, has one win against 14th ranked Dayton, so they look to produce a similar result tonight. Well, that's all for now. Tune in tomorrow as we preview Saturday's big game against Michigan. Back to you guys at the desk. And only with Daily Iowan TV can you get a sneak peek into Thursday's pages of the Daily Iowan. Stop, drop, and roll. See what the UI College of Pharmacy is doing to train in fire safety. And check out a preview of the event Art Speaks in the Thursday section of 80 Hours. Well, that's your most current edition of Daily Iowan TV. Be sure to check us out anytime online at dailyiowan.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. <laughs>